Paul, I understand customer experience is high on your agenda at the moment within the NEC group. Can you tell me a bit more about this, please? Sure. Our vision is about creating the best moments in the customer experience and making sure our brands interact with each of them along their journey. So to maximise that interaction, really <coughs> where IT comes in is across the entire thing. Okay. IT is as important life oxygenator for a business now as finance is. Without the two, you cannot survive. We're a communication business. We take four million people and bring them together with content. We cannot do that without good ICT. Okay. Now that's whether they're buying a ticket. And so our ticketing systems, we sell three million tickets a year now through our platform called ticketfactory.com. Um, <clears throat> now IT, without IT, we would not be able to do that. It's not just the way we send the mail shots out to them over uh, various forms, whether it's mobile or desktop, whatever those forms are, but without good IT behind that, we would not be able to service national shows like mm -hmm. um, Take That when we sold Take That. In fact, we were the fastest seller of Take That tickets in the whole of the UK. We beat Ticketmaster that day, and that's all because of our IT capability. Really, a ticketing business is not just selling tickets, it's a technology business. Good. And that's true across all of our businesses. Our catering business now is pretty much a technology business. The delivery end is food mm. and a great experience of that food. But really behind it sits a huge, great IT technology kind of business to really deliver it on time, right place, right place, every single time. Good. So with that in mind, what do you demand from your CIO then? <laughs> What do I demand from Andrew? Andrew Andrew's a great guy. Um, he's he's taken um, a business that was, um, in my view, functioning probably about 30% of its capability, put in a robust network, a, an architecture that actually meets the demands of, of today. And he's really done the heavy lifting. I was, in fact, I was talking to him the other day about his problem is, is that he's done most of the heavy lifting behind the wall, if you see what I mean. Okay. The front end, the iPhone, the, the Blackberry, the laptop, the iPad is what our staff see and that is what he gets judged by. But really what he's done, he's put an architecture in, he's put EPOS systems in, he's put given me a decent MIS system so I can actually track everything. He's merged all of our systems. Our CRM system now is, is a brand new functional CRM system. So really what Andrew, what I want from Andrew now is speed in projects don't let the business get too clever with their scope because project scope is a flipping nightmare <laughs> in my business. Um, and really, the issue I think now we face, not only in my business, but in other businesses about who are customer experience, is trying to future-proof a project now, which really, in four years' time, that piece of technology will be redundant. Yes. And you'll be looking for a new solution. So I'm after cheap and cheerful, but now. Good. Paul, thank you. Pleasure.